What's up guys? Welcome back to the GT3 and the first road trip of 2016. We are heading down to Geneva for the Geneva Motor Show. Uh, but this is obviously going to be no ordinary trip because I am joined by a stunning Grigio Silverstone Ferrari FF, the most Miami tech art Carrera S convertible and also uh, I'm joined by another Porsche GT3 RS so we have ourselves a really cool convoy down we're making this trip a two-day trip because we're stopping off somewhere incredibly special which is the Bugatti Chateau and the reason we're going there is uh, one of the guys who is joining us on th this trip is specking their new Bugatti Chiron. Amazing, I can't even believe those words are coming out of my mouth but a friend of mine has a Chiron on order. Yeah, as you do. So, before we reach Geneva, we're having a stop in France at the Bugatti Chateau and we're going to be getting an exclusive preview, the first look at the Bugatti Chiron, even before it's launched in Geneva. So a very, very special day and I'm so incredibly privileged to be along for that experience. It's going to be just wow. <laughs> Okay, so we just boarded the Channel Tunnel train. It's always a crazy experience getting on these things. It feels like some sort of space adventure, you know? Anyway, we're on board and I think it's about a half an hour journey or 45 minute journey now underneath the ocean, under the uh, channel. And yeah, it's gonna spit us out in France. Okay, so we've just boarded the Channel Tunnel. First time we've actually had all these cars in one place stationary. So probably a good time to come and check them out. Okay, so I was going to bring the F12, but upon taking it out of the garage and taking it for a test drive, uh, one, the front right wheel had lost one of the, li the little weights on it. So at around about 75, 80 miles an hour, there was some vibration from that. So unfortunately, the F12s had to go in for uh, wheel maintenance, and so I brought the uh, GT3 instead. And of course, here's the FF that has been following us. I don't know why we've opened the bonnet, but I'm always good to stare at a Ferrari V12. You forget how amazing these blocks are. Check this out. Beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's so clean, despite this being an English car. Beautifully clean. So yeah, we've obviously been, been joined by this beautiful FF. Check out the interior on this. I think if I was specking an FF, it would be pretty much exactly like this. And if you watch my previous videos, you'll know I'm a big fan of Grigio Silverstone. This FF is specced from the full panoramic sunroof. It goes all the way back here. It's so good. Inside, it just opens up the whole car. Look at that, it's huge. Very, very cool. And we've been joined by Mr. Miami in this hilarious tech art. 997 Carrera S cab. Check out the phone. It actually has a white painted phone in it. <laughs> it's so Miami, man. Very cool. And possibly one of the most famous GT3 RSs on the planet. Uh, I've actually known this car for quite some time. I, uh, I joined this car on Gumball in 2011. Uh, and uh, that was from London to Istanbul. So, 
guy who owns this car, check him out on Instagram, at Team Green. He has done lots and lots of trips, and every trip and rally, he gets a sticker and puts it underneath the bonnet, and it's such a nice way to remember the tours. Stuttgart was yeah. one of 50 cars in the world. And what about so this the was trip the to only Saint-Tropez? One. Yes, yeah. This was the only one, yeah. 997 MK1, mm -hmm. invited by Porsche uh, Motorsport Amazing. to attend the official 50 year anniversary parade. What an honor. It's fantastic, right? How cool. Ascari Academy? How Ascari cool Academy. Is, how cool is that? It was great. It's amazing. It was great. We had yeah. it uh, for the weekend. Yeah. And yes, Marina Circuit, I was invited for the opening and we had a Porsche parade on yeah. the track. Nice. Very cool. It's awesome, man. What a great way of, you know, documenting your trips. Every sticker has a great story. Very cool. This is everything that helps me make the videos for you. This is a big part of that, you know? Duh. What a downer. We're like half an hour into France and I obliterate my phone. No music either. I got 2,000 miles. 2,000 miles. No smiles. Look at it, it's absolutely trashed. It's class as being on my mobile while I'm driving? I don't think so. Really? No, I was taking a picture and I dropped it out of the window. Bad news. Now I've got a... What the f I... I don't f believe it. Major... supposed to have some quite important meetings at Geneva too. The amount of people I've got to liaise with, no liaising anymore. Liaison over. I don't want to be part of it at all, but it's quite interesting to be completely cut off from everything. It's amazing how much you rely on that thing. Hmm. There's always some good you can extrapolate something. And I'm hoping that me smashing my phone to pieces is going to make this video more interesting for you, that is. It's not more interesting for me, it's terrible for me. Okay, we have mild resolution. This isn't a cigar, it's beef jerky. One of my incredibly prepared friends has a spare iPhone, which just so happens to be SIM unlocked, SIM free. So. It works. Sorry, I'm just really enjoying this beef jerky. Yeah. We're good. I've got a phone that works in terms of making phone calls. Balance is restored to the universe. Back on the road, following the Ferrari FF, Tech Art and GC3 RS behind us. Sunny day, beef jerky, boom.
just made our second pit stop and the sunset is absolutely incredible. I did film a little bit of it earlier, but uh, in, in typical form, it really isn't coming through on camera, just how iridescent the sky is. Just amazing. Anyway, we're somewhere in the middle of France. <laughs> um, I would tell you where, but I was using my phone as sat-nav and, well, we know that story, so. Still about an hour away from the hotel and we've just stopped for more food, petrol, and just a general chill, really. We've been driving solid now for the last four hours. So, yeah, basically any pit stop is welcome. Hotel for the evening. It's been a pretty long day. I think we'll uh, call that day there. Ciao. Morning, guys. Yet another crazy early start, but that's just part of the gig in this game. Today, we're not heading off to anywhere ordinary. Today, we are going to the Bugatti Chateau. I can't believe it. I've been wanting to go to Bugatti ever since I was a kid and today I'm going and it's going to be even more special because a friend of mine today is specking his new Bugatti Chiron. I can't actually believe those words are coming out of my mouth but that's what's happening today. So we're going to pack up the GT3, drive out, check out of the hotel and head on over to Bugatti. See you tomorrow. Okay. Just been bringing the uh, cars uh, out of the garage, <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we are off. This village was sleepy. We just woke it up big time. All right, back in the old jalopy, and we're off to Bugatti. I still, this still hasn't quite sunk in what's happening. Um, I mean, it's it's cool enough that we're going to Bugatti as it is, but the reason we're there. That's next level. I don't think we're going to be able to film or take pictures of anything at all. So I'm going to have to use my best descriptive skills when I, I leave to begin to describe what happened in there. Have a short drive there. And then it's going to be like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I'm going to go and see some insanely cool stuff. And we're super privileged because we get to see the Chiron before it's even launched, which is amazing. Amazing stuff, so yes, bloody good start to a bloody good day, I say. Okay, I've just seen signs for a Bugatti hotel. I'm sure that isn't a coincidence. We can't be far. We cannot be far now. So I've been to the Lamborghini factory. I've been to Ferrari. I've been to Lotus, Morgan. What is it with these places being in the middle of nowhere? It's They are the most unassuming places. going to wake you up in the morning, it's a Sharkworks exhaust. So good. Ah, oh, we are here. We are here. I am so excited. We are here. Wow, it is actually a house. It is a house, guys. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful property, but it's the most unassuming place. There isn't a single sign either that says Bugatti. I don't think. So here we are, entering the Bugatti Chateau. So here we are, at the Bugatti Chateau. I can't believe I'm standing here on the front lawn of this thing. 
it is absolutely fantastic. I don't think we're going to be able to, to film much inside, but uh, yeah, it's just so fortunate to be here. And I got my car right outside steps. <laughs> fantastic stuff. Okay, so we just stepped out. I've had a preview of the Chiron and how it's made. I'm grinning from ear to ear because I can't wait for you guys to see this car. It is absolutely unreal. Like the Veyron was such a good car, but this Chiron has taken it up to the next level. It's so, so cool. Understandably, I wasn't able to take many photos or, uh, or film inside, but uh, the Chiron's going to be announced later on today so it'll probably be out before my clips out uh, but now I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone involved here what a honor and a, and a pleasure to be able to see that car and tour of the Bugatti Chateau it's an absolutely stunning stunning place so anyway I'm still coming down from that incredible experience it's just what a place anyway guys let's hit the road and I'll uh, see you soon Ciao.